Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more fa no, not Factorio, this is, uh, it's called Victoria 2, it's kind of like Factorio because you build factories or something. So anyway, um, I was looking at the populations and, you know, pop groups, and I saw that we have 152,000 farmers in Kano who are learning how to read good. 8.29% increased literacy per month. Damn, we are teaching like everyone in this whole region how to read books. It's Pretty sick. Um, also, what's this all about? Province growth? Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, um, so we're going to ferry back our troops. I have to do it probably in a couple rounds. Um, let's see, we've got this fleet up here on its way. We've got eight ships over here. That's eight more transports. Let's bring them down to... Probably down to about here for now. We can afford to lower this all the way down. We're having a little bit of a difficulty maintaining positive finances. Trying to keep taxes down just so that people have a little bit more money, they're happy and all that stuff. We're doing on production. Lumber mill factory. Okay, whatever you want. Are you guys being productive? Are these factories profitable? This one's 10% uh, profitable. Furniture factory in Gotaland. Close down the lumber mill. So. A lumber mill went bankrupt, and you're telling me you guys are trying to build a new one? Is that, is that basically what I just saw? Seems like it is. But the furniture factory itself, IKEA factory, is profitable, so we'll expand it. I think what happened, I hate this, you, when your damn polit political party changes, and you switch from a political party that can support, that can subsidize factories, to one that can't, and then it stops subsidizing all your factories, and then they just close down. I want to subsidize all factories. Like, I just want to keep them running. I just, I think it's fine. You could reopen it. 2,400 pounds. I know for sure that, that this is a good location to do it. If we had the lumber mill operational, the furniture factory would be more profitable as well. So let's go ahead and open it up. And we'll prioritize that one. The cement factory shut down as well. Let's just open it up. Glass factory is really profitable. Let's expand you. Okay. Seems good. I kind of know what I'm doing, sort of ish. It's fine. Now we're making Boku Dollar Race. Well, we were for a second. Never mind, now we're losing metric crap tons of money. 8,000 pounds on machine parts. Because we're buying tons and tons and tons of machine parts to reopen the factories. Okay. I'm just going to put the money in there. You guys buy all the stuff. Alright, so the cement factory is... It's profitable. Yeah, so it should be open anyway. This guy's majorly profitable. War exhaustion hurts. Gotta, gotta make the IKEA factory better! The very first world, the world's first IKEA factory. We need to be expanding this thing non-stop. Every time it's finished, we need to expand it again. All right. Um, so we only have room for five. Why don't you come on over here? This is eleven regiments. Five plus eight. Yeah, we'll just wait till those ships get over there. And move it as one unit. Why don't you head over there? So, infamy's up a bit. We did get um, the technology required to, to have fancy pants CBs. Let's see like what those look like. So just out of curiosity, if we wanted to justify war, we've got acquire state. That's not the one. You are the wrong type of country. Because you're civilized, it's really no different. Uh, what we're looking for would be like... Know, Persia, you're unsaved, right? 
partially westernized. Oh no! You're in my sphere. I don't want to attack you. I was just kidding. It's a joke. Alright, like Egypt. The main concession is not the same one. I had thought that we would have seen more there. Ottomans are still great power. Algeria is primitive. This is the established protectorate. That's what I was looking at. Yeah, okay, so it's only 10 infamy. But, like, we could take over their entire country. Annex an uncivilized country. Pick up 300,000 adult males. Wanna fight France? We could do it. How's Morocco look? 300,000? It's too bad we can't just do that to Brazil. Well, honestly, I think that uh, Sphere Wars might be... A better way to spend infamy right now. Unless I want to fabricate a claim against Great Britain for funsies. Take from Sphere of Influence. It's only four infamy. Acquire state. Place in the sun. Ten infamy for this. Acquire an enemy colonial state. That sucks. Just humiliate them for fun. Now, I think the fun way to do it would be to do an acquire state. I want to take over his factories. Like, when we get strong enough, when I have enough boats, can we check in the ledger? How many boats he has? Oh, wait, no. I can just I can look at this country here. Just see it on this right here. 177 ships with 9 naval tech. Versus my 34 ships with 6 naval tech. So you're seeing he's got a lot of boats, huh? So you're saying I need to get better at making boats. Is that what I heard? Alright, so part of the issue is that right now we're spending influence here to reduce the influence of other countries. And we're working on Brazil. Are they buying our IKEA furniture? That's what's important. Not gonna lose prestige. It's not an option. More railroads. Yeah. I'm spending all of my money now. I'm gonna need to raise taxes again. Prices are wild. They're all over the place. Alright, so that's a bad invention, but... 40% tariff. Seems fine. It's not really hurting much. 90.5% literacy. We still need tons, tons, tons more clerks. More exhaustion minus 5%. How long is it going to take? Okay, war exhaustion's already gone. That's good. So our production's nice and high again. We're working on getting Peru into the sphere. Can already increase them up to cordial. No one else is going after them, are they? Oh, they're already friendly with the United States. Well, too bad for you. I'm gonna take them. They're gonna be mine. Yeah, I don't want anyone else to be able to do... Brazil is what? With France. Neutral. Cordial, cordial. Alright, what's this all about? 
What do you guys want to vote for? Jingles and Morals State Capital. Pro military, pacifism. People want stuff, apparently. Okay. Um, probably gonna want to do. The suffrage movement is the, uh, the one that they want more. So that's voting related. Right now we have weighted wealth, where the rich get more votes. This will lower their amount of votes to that. Or, we could just ignore what the people want and do like... Try to get more social reform desires, so we can do these. It costs us money, but like the advantage is immigrant attraction. We can try to get people to start moving to us. Factories get more expensive. Everybody needs go down. More education efficiency would be sweet. We don't even have a basic... There's no school system right now. And yet people know how to read. I'm going to go for social reform desire, I think. Non-socialist allowed. Cool deal. Let's get a little bit of money in the bank again. We had like 160k at one point. Now it's all gone. The only people who aren't getting their needs met are the occasional artisans, but most of them seem to be doing pretty well. Most people are getting their everyday, need, everyday needs, some people are getting their luxury needs. Um, can't lower taxes any anymore. You don't have to have the army at full maintenance, that'd be a good way to save some, some money right now. In fact, since we're not at war at all, let's just lower it all the way down. And we'll keep on hanging out. We like railroads. We like when the capitalists spill the railroads, because there's less clicking for me. Shift clicking just invests in every project. So we're getting them all started. Nice. More railroads. That's what we want the capitalists for. We don't want the capitalists to be doing stupid luxury clothes factories. Alright, this one does not affect research at all. It is the year 1855. 15 years till colonization goes crazy. Can't do this for another five years, so we can probably sneak in something else. More railroad. Would definitely be good. We want the factories to start becoming more profitable. We need more factory throughput in the states. Like, for example, right here, this thing's 13.937% profitability. But... The infrastructure is only 13.7%, so when you look right on that tooltip, right in that tooltip, average infrastructure in state, 13.7%. That's just a flat bonus to our throughput. So, building more railroads will just make the factories more profitable. I believe, I think it also affects movement speed, but I could be wrong. I might just be thinking of something else that I read. Also, we have a, a new focus point available. So, sure. Let's get some East Hausalans... I don't know. What's going on in these, these, these colonial regions? That's a lot of people living there. Give me that, tell you that much. So we've got 2.7% clergy down here. Two point one percent clergy over here. A lot of people are promoting to clergy. Are we ending up with way too many bureaucrats? I think we might be. Overall population of bureau bureaucrats is only 0.9%. That's not too bad. I am going to lower administration spending just a little bit now. We're like 65%. Saves us a ton of money. We don't really need it. We don't need it to be at 100% to prevent most of the crime and stuff. Okay, um... I mean, we, like, could encourage soldiers down here. I can't actually make these accepted culture, and there's not going to be any, uh... 
assimilation to our primary culture, unfortunately. Unless something weird happens with immigration, and I don't know if it's actually possible. But they're learning how to read, so that's nice. I mean, what kind of focus could we do that would make sense? I think it's, I think it's just time to... Um, maybe encourage craftsmen? Let's see, like in, in Gotteland, what are they promoting to right now? They're doing they're doing craftsmen anyway. Because we have more than 90% literacy now. That helps out quite a bit. Um, like, what do we want them to do here? We don't want them to become clergy. I could just have a huge African army down here. Sure, you know what? Just whatever. Encourage soldiers. Is it going to be... <laughs> We don't want Swedes to die. Let's just kill the, <laughs> just put the Africans on the front lines, since we can't we can't really make factories down there, right? Because they're not actual states. These are colonial, colonial states, and in a colonial state, you can't build factories. So, if we can't make factories, we don't want them to become they can't become craftsmen. So we just make them into soldiers. And we'll have all of the Swedes make all the IKEA furniture. It'll be wonderful. Sure, Russia, you can have access. Why not? Doesn't bother me much. All right, Holston once again causing problems. Columbia, you are already friendly with the United States, but not sphered, so we will start to exert some influence on you. Peru, we already have at 36 again. No one has invested any money into you. I think I might invest just a tiny bit into Peru so that if the United States tries to contest us. Nope, they, they're not showing up in that list for some reason. Can we just do it from here? Do they not allow any foreign investment? It's all mountains. You don't allow foreign investment. Okay, what about Colombia? Colombia does. I shall build a railroad for you. How's that sound, Colombia? Hey, 15 prestige, cool. So that was culture, impressionism. Someone's already done impressionist music. We just knocked out literature. We could still potentially get impressionist art. Get a bunch of free prestige that way. I suppose what I could do is like... I could just encourage soldiers down here, lower military spending, and try to convert our Swedes back into craftsmen. We have room for nine more brigades. And there are almost, yeah, nine more in Africa, and only three in Europe. Could be good. You know, getting them, getting them working in the craftsman position would be nice. Now let's just focus on knocking out tons of railroads. Like, just tons of them. Every single state needs maximum railroads. Funded by capitalists because it's cheaper that way. So this is kind of tedious, but this is basically what I'm going to be doing for a while. We're just taxing the poor, giving money to projects. What? Nisha Punjab, your faithful allies, you requesting you come to their aid in the Afghan liberation of Punjabi Balochistan against Afghanistan. So what's what's going on here? War of the Kokandi Semeresh Concession. The Russians have attacked Kokand, who apparently called in Persia Panjab. So you want me to fight the Russians?
And if I say no? Okay, so you've attacked Kokand. And Kokand was allied to Persia and Panjab. People who I have sphered. Did I actually ally you? I don't think I did. You're just in my sphere, so you're trying to get me to help you out. I mean, I could do it. I could I could totally do it. I could do it. We could attack. We could try to take back Finland as part of the war. We could add that war goal. No, that's not true. If I join the war... If I join this war, my war goal is going to be status quo. I'll take over as war leader for sure. But because I'm a defender in it, I'm just going to try to do status quo. What if, on the other hand, we just attacked Russia? They don't have any other allies. I mean, if we're going to fight Russia, I feel like we should just fight Russia. You can't be... I can't... I mean, I wonder if it works the same way as it does in E4. You know what? For crying out loud, I just want to try it. We're going to do it. Let's raise the maintenance on all the things. Maybe not on the boats. And there's two cores. Looks like there's a lot more people living in the southern state. Southern Finland. I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna attack we're gonna attack Russia. Russia's got seventy eight brigades, seven military tech. We've got thirty six brigades, only army tech six. Suddenly I'm wondering if this is a good decision or not. Same tactics bonus. As soon as we finish the early railroad, I could just switch to all, all military research. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. I have no other alliances. What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Alright, so we're in that war. Now I'm going to try accepting. And that actually put us at war with Afghanistan. Were we able to... Yeah, we can actually be in two wars at once. Interesting. Well, okay. Let's fight. Leroy. So you can't march to that island, huh? This is certainly going to be an interesting war. Alright, I'm going to take a break here though. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.